So here we are, joined by Coventry United uh, manager Ellis. Uh, unfortunately today, uh, it was Coventry United nil, St. Neots Town 6. Mm-hmm. Um, can you give me some of your thoughts today? Uh, no, I, personally, I don't see it as 6 nil. Um, I think anyone watching in the ground, it wasn't a 6 nil. I think we started the game really brightly. Um, and we were getting in there, we were winning first and second balls. I think we were well at the races. Um, first goal, I could argue, come against the run of play to be fair. Uh, but that, that sparked them. And they did not come off that fucking spark, you know. Um, and they just kept going. I mean, there was one time where they won a corner. And you've got the, the lad, you know, shouting into the crowd a bit like, come on, let's get after this. And every single player for them were, were doing the exact same thing. And they just kept running and running and running. And I just don't think we adjusted to that. I think uh, for quite a few moments in the, in the first half, especially, we were a little bit flat footed. We were waiting for things to happen. We were expecting us to win the first ball and not reacting or being proactive, ready to get that second ball. And I think that's what kind of cost us. Now, I'm not going to you know, start going on about refereeing performances and whatnot. I understand he was being assessed today, but there were some decisions in that game across the whole game that I genuinely believe were appalling. Um, there was. Uh, the, the penalty, a bit suspect. There was a, their third goal was a handball. There was pushes. There was should that is missed in our favour. That should have been in our favour. And this isn't sour grapes. This is not sour grapes whatsoever. But I do believe that if a referee is going to step on a step five football pitch, he has to be at the level to control the game because it was it was chaos from the minute from minute one. They kicked the ball away. No no repercussions. They, they when they made subs, they literally walked off with no no. Saying to you know, come on, mate, you've got to get off the pitch. Nothing, nothing there. Um, and, I, and I do think with a couple of the decisions, they cost us goals. And when that third one went in, which was a blatant handball, by the way, um, I think that killed us. I think that killed us. And, and we shouldn't have allowed it to kill us, and we should have tried to bounce back. Um, but I think that just got in our heads. And at that point, we know that we know the game <laughs> um, was lost and over. And then the fourth went in, and then yeah, yeah the rest is history. Really, we, we go around and concede five and six in pretty sloppy fashion. So, just from my position uh, at the game today, I was uh, doing the online commentary, uh, which was which was quite difficult to do. But watching the game from high up, my opinion was Adam Miles looked a little bit isolated up top on his own. Yeah. Um, obviously, I know you're playing the wingers who are pushing forward. Do you think Adam needs a bit of help up top? Do you think you'll be getting anybody in to help him at all? Or is this something you're looking at? Yeah, I mean, I think it was the choice of ball, to be fair. Not against that back line who, you know, eating up headers all day long. They love the long ball. That's what they were all about. Uh, they had a very, very big back line. And we've either got to overhit it for runners in behind, or we've got to find his feet. We've got to find him and play off him. And we kind of did neither when we made that longer, more direct ball. It was kind of up to his head. And then he's got a challenge. And if we're not in our attacking positions before that long ball comes, then we've got no chance of being around him. And then obviously we've got to understand where that flick or if he wins it, is going to go. And that, that connectivity in the final third aerially wasn't very good today. I do believe though, that on the deck when we got the ball out to Stanley, when we got uh, Sammy involved, when we got Abdul overlapping, we did create them a few problems. Um, and we needed to do that more often, but we didn't. Um, I think we played a lot of kind of safe balls a lot of balls sideways, which which was good, um, especially in that first 15, 20 minutes, but we just didn't have any any penetration, which is, I think, what we need to work on moving forward in training. Um, in terms of Smiley, look, we had a moment, very, very, a, a very good few am, a, amounts of chances to whip the ball in, and we did get crosses in. The problem was, which we've done before, but obviously today it just didn't come together, um, when we're whipping that ball in, we need extras with him, um, because if he wins it, he's not always going to be able to get it on frame and he needs to be able to you know pop little knocks down and there was no one really around him today which you know was frustrating um but that's just the way it is we just we weren't really kind of at the at the level of the opponents the opponents stepped up their level after 12 15 minutes and we didn't match it how do we have matched it? i think we've got a different game cool well well what we'll do at this point we'll leave you to it because i can see uh you're not very happy today with the result, which we, none of us are yeah. happy with it. So, uh, from, what, from a result perspective, I'm not happy because no one wants to lose a game. But I do feel, I do feel that even though you know things didn't go in our favour, I do believe that the lads did work hard. They did work hard. Did they need to work a little bit harder? Yes. 
Did they have to have a little bit more, you know, moments of penetration in the final third? Yes. And that's all the things we can learn. I do not believe, as I said at the start, that this was a 6 0 game. We'll turn the page, we'll go again next week, and we'll, we'll hopefully put right the things we did wrong. But there's, there's plenty of positive to take away from that game, believe it or not. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.